five and six to there oh, and there. Oh, we're moving these up. So You're yes. getting this done. We're we getting them because the people need Ooh. end game level stakes. You're cooking with water. The opposite <laughs> <of> yeah. <laughs> yeah, water and oil is uh, popping. Sure, uh -huh. sure, sure, uh -huh. sure, 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 sure. Welcome back to The Break Room. I'm Brandon Barrick, and joining me today, we have Jessica Clemens. Toodles. <laughs> Toodles. I played Toodles in a local production of Peter Pan as a child. Uh, and we also have Erica Wusu. Hey, Internet, I'm back. Ah, I missed y'all. Happy New Year, even though it's the 20-something. No, no, <laughs> this is your first appearance in You might as well just say Happy Black History Month, because you're closer to that than you are the New Year. <laughs> this is the second time. Someone said that? No, we've done this. <laughs> it's been January, February-ish, and we're like, Black History Month. So today we're playing a game that Erica Wusu came up with called Schedule Shuffle. Everybody do the Schedule Shuffle. This is the move, this is the dance right here. It's gonna take over TikTok, I feel it. Looks like you're grabbing at something, you don't know which one to do with it. Shuffle, we shuffle it. Yeah, sure, your hands are going like this. When I was a young man, I did a little shuffle. Yeah, yeah, we all had high school years. Get them off the goddamn show. I just got here. <laughs> in, in this year of our Lord, 2024, we only have one Marvel film on the slate. Mm -hmm. uh, and the lingering effects of the strikes and other MCU release orders, uh, has this feel like things are gonna continue to be tampered with, right? Like this isn't, the schedule that we kind of have right now is not set in stone, except for maybe Deadpool is definitely coming out this year, uh, this summer. Uh, so what could be the best release order for Marvel going forward? We keep asking and they won't tell us. Mm -hmm. They won't give us an answer. Uh, we know things are gonna get pushed back. We know things are gonna get changed. Uh, so we wanted to come up with our own uh, release order for the MCU. What each of us feels would be the ideal release order. So let's get into the rules for the schedule shuffle, okay? Cause you gotta have rules. All right, on our whiteboard today, we've got the titles of the upcoming films and Disney Plus series arranged in their current order. Uh, for simplicity's sake, we're sticking with live action shows since we don't know exactly when the animated shows are gonna come out, if they're gonna connect. I mean, they say like, what if is canon, right? Mm -hmm. But uh, that's all in different universes, who knows? We saw Captain Carter, not the same one, you know. Uh, this Spider-Man freshman year, we don't know how that's gonna work in. Eyes of Wakanda, we don't know. So this is just the live action stuff. Um, and here are the current release dates that we know. Deadpool 3 is of course coming out July 26, 2024. Agatha Darkhold Diaries, maybe Agatha All Along, maybe Covenant of Chaos, who knows? That's coming out late 2024. We think like October, right? That would make sense. Perfect for Halloween. Perfect Halloween joint. Uh, Captain America Brave New World coming out February 14th, Valentine's Day, 2025. Uh, already a year away. Uh, <laughs> Fantastic Four. We don't even know who's in the movie yet. Uh, coming out May 2nd, 2025. Uh, that'll definitely change. Thunderbolts, <laughs> uh, currently slated for July 25th, 2025. Blade, currently scheduled for November 7th, 2025. They don't even have a, an outline for this. <laughs> Not at all. I know. Uh, <laughs> They're counting on Wesley to do like six cameos. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. And then we have Avengers 5, which was called uh, Kang Dynasty. Now it's just Avengers 5. Uh, that's coming out May 1st, 2026. Avengers Secret Wars, May 7th, 2027. Uh, and then as for undated but announced projects, we have Daredevil Born Again, Ironheart, Wonder Man, Vision Quest, Armor Wars, uh, Spider-Man 4, uh, we know it's coming, uh, and a Shang-Chi 2. They've pretty much said they're doing a Shang-Chi 2. And especially with Dustin Daniel Cretton moving off of Avengers 5, I'm sure he's working on that. Mm -hmm. Shang-Chi right. 2 and uh, Times New Roman. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we had to make up our own font for Shang-Chi 2. Apologies well, What if that is actually the font? What if that is what it looks like? They're going yeah. back in time. They're like, hey, hey. We better get some royalties. <laughs> okay. So each of us uh, will get a chance to rearrange the titles and what we think would be the strongest release order uh, and explain why. So you can, you can connect the movies if you want. You can tell why you're putting this before that. Uh, we'll be logging the final board and be able to bring up the graphics uh, one final time at the end. So don't worry about that. Uh, you can also vote uh, at the link in the description. Let us know what you think about our different release orders that we come up with. I'll probably have the best one, but who's gonna come in second? It's up to you guys. We all let the people decide. Out. It's the democracy around these internet parts. I don't know if you've been around for this assembled, Erica was too, but I'm pretty good. Uh, pretty you mean good. Jessica's really good. We're one for one. We both <laughs> are tied. What did you? 
I'm pretty sure I won. Oh, I no. saw the comments. Oh, no. Oh, no. I saw the comments. Well, the comments. They said <laughs> Queen J winner. <laughs> Fatality. So as, as we put these uh, new shuffle, these new schedule shuffles together, right, some of this will take into account uh, the reality of certain movies. Like Avengers 5, it can't just come out at the end of this year, no matter how much we would want it to, right? Uh, that can't happen. Uh, but we'll certainly be taking some liberties when it comes to other scheduling things. Like, there is a world. We know they shot a lot of Brave New World, right? They said they're doing some reshoots. Mm -hmm. But there's a world where you could have that out by the end of the year if you really wanted to. If Marvel was like, we're going to get our, our reshoots done, we're going to put all of our money and pay our visual effects artists an appropriate amount of money mm -hmm. and hire an appropriate amount of people to do the work, you could get it out by the end of the year. Wouldn't that be, be exciting? Uh, also, to tie your ideal order together, you can add one fake title. Evan said fake title. I'm going to say dream title. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you, the one title you would want to add to really put this, like, uh, just make it delicious. He said Evan. I couldn't do Incredibles 3. You can do Incredibles 3, but it's got to be at least one uh, Marvel character in it. No, like, they are the Marvel characters. Like America Chavez punches his, punches into the Incredible Universe. Oh, okay. Uh, Don't she, look at my She gets a last girl to divorce Mr. Incredible, and she marries Elastigirl. Oh, I like it. Progressive. Isn't that romantic? Isn't that she romantic? gets divorced. Uh, so sky's your limit. Go for it. Go crazy. Do whatever you want. Does anyone want to go first? Does anyone have the guts to go first? Ooh. I'll go first. You want to go first? Yeah. Erica Wusu, break. Let me break the break. seal. Let's do it. So he's going to walk over to the board. Yeah, somehow, uh, some way. All right. Let's find, see. find your best way. We rearranged the studio for this. I know. Y'all got the... the you got to find um, your way around. Feng Shui, all nice today. So this all is right, the current like release order. Change it however you want. Show us what yes. you want to do. All right. Go crazy with this. It. Okay. Let oh, me, I changed mine. Give me this. <laughs> I changed that was it. the last one. I know. We're all messing up here. All right. It's 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 Wednesday. <laughs> okay. This is what I think the new order should be. Okay. We should start with do, 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 do. Daredevil the, born cheat, again. Cheat for the camera. Oh, oh you're gonna get it out this year. Yes. Okay. I'm gonna get it out this year. Echo was so much fun. Love seeing Kingpin. I need him more now, right now. I need okay. more Kingpin. And you're going right. to just roll right into the story as Echo kind of left it hanging, right? Yes. Okay. Absolutely. So keep Daredevil where he is. Keep Agatha where she is. All right. Now we're going to move to that. And then we're going to swap this for now and put Wonder Man right after Brave New World. Okay. So you have... Uh, the Deadpool movie, we get the Agatha series, and yes. then we roll into Captain America Brave New World. Absolutely. We catch up with Sam Wilson, see what he's up to. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay. And right from that, we go from black hero to black hero, going to Wonder Man, because okay. Yaya like is uh, Wonder like Man. Uh, that's the only connective tissue I have for that right now, so that's what <laughs> we're going to go with. All right, so then... We do some big shuffles. We move okay. these over, not necessarily keeping them there, okay. but we move Avengers five and six to there oh, and there. Oh, we're moving these up. So You're yes. getting this done. We, we're getting them because the people need Ooh. end game level stakes. You're cooking with water. The opposite <laughs> <of God>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, water and oil is uh, popping. Sure, uh -huh. sure, sure, uh -huh. sure, 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 sure. Okay. So you want these coming out back to back. Yes. Oh, nothing 100%. in between. No, because that's what happened with uh, Endgame and Infinity War, right? No. They had two movies come out in between those. Oh, they did. They did. They had uh, Ant Man and Wasp. Yes. Ant Man and the Wasp, which kind of took place during yeah, Infinity like right War. before, and then, yeah, and then they had uh, Captain Marvel because we had to learn about Captain yes, Marvel which before she showed up. Yes, which was in the past. But this, we you want to you want to boom boom right into it. We've had enough time okay. jumping low key. Uh, uh, we, how, we, much, how much time in between the releases? Uh, so clearly like a month. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll have this in the third quarter of the year. Okay. We'll have this second quarter of this year, 2026. Okay, okay right. so like six months. None know. of these are going direct to Disney Plus? No, not at all. No, no. we're done these, all theater, uh, all theater. Including releases. Agatha Dark Old Diaries going <laughs> straight, straight to theaters? theaters. Straight to theaters. We need, we need this series Gorgeous, to be in theaters. That's confirming. They did that with Ahsoka in a couple episodes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, but you're saying all the episodes. So I, don't know. I sure did. <laughs> make, a, make Agatha a live stage play that tours the country. Yes. Oh. It is the, the uh, live action been. Rogers uh, musical. Yeah. There you go. Okay, there now I'm buying. I'm buying. I'm back in. We got her with the musical. Sorry. Yes, we're going to get to Gristle in a minute. <laughs> All right, so after fa those movies, then we do, yes, Fantastic Four uh, after Avengers Secret Wars. Okay. Uh, so now, I, this might be set in the 60s, we don't know, but I'd love to see the introduction of the Fantastic Four, Marvel's first family. 
right after we clean everything up after the conclusion of Secret Wars. Yeah, how, how does Secret Wars end for you? Is it like, mm. there's, we get, there's one universe, there's still a multiverse, how do, you, how do you see it ending? There's still a multiverse, Okay. everything's fixed, Loki hands off the reins of the tree to an AI. Miss Minutes now runs the oh, tree. Oh, we've reformed Miss Minutes. And Miss she's Minutes running. is cool now. <laughs> Jessica's Jessica buying it. She's, she's, she's first in line to come see my movie schedule. Wow. There's uh, no kitchen anymore. I'm not uh, cooking. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, Miss Minutes is a genocidal maniac. She deserves to be holding down the hands. I just don't. She already did it once. I don't trust it ever they again. Fixed yeah. They fixed her. They fixed her. Sure. I can fix her. I can fix her. Yeah. yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> Tame the shrew. Yes. No. Okay. So, uh, after Fantastic Four, then we bring Spider Man into the mix. God damn. Yes, okay. we bring Spider Man into the mix. 20, class of 26. Yes. He's gonna be a grown man. <laughs> He's grown yeah, Spider-Man. I like it. I like it. Uh, by the time all this is done. Okay, so now, after Spider-Man, we get another young hero by the name of Ironheart. All right. There you go, her there right you go. there. Okay. Because I missed the days when we would get three, four Marvel movies in a year. Yeah, that's that was nice. Those were good times. We was like eating that. back in the day. I like that. We coming back to that. All right, so now, after Ironheart, we do Thunderbolts. So that's where we put that. No, actually, we do Armor Wars. That makes more sense after Ironheart. Uh, mm. Back to back black. That's there how I'm looking at the schedule. Oh, okay. Back to black. Back to back to black. Back. So we go. We go break up the black, and then oh, we're gonna. Oh, <laughs> oh wait, what's going on? We come for Vision Quest. Okay. Here. Oh, that's white. Armor Wars. Now that's, that's white. white. Yeah. No, that's I white. told you we're breaking up the black. I, I, I should have. I should have taken that to heart. <laughs> so the all white American hero that Stop is white Vision. <laughs> Stop him. Stop him. Get him out of here. After Armor Wars, because White Vision mm. is a uncontrolled vibranium bodied android. Okay. So after Armor Wars, have that concludes, they're gonna have to figure out how to rein in White Vision, because he's mm. just flying free. Ever after since ever since the yeah. events of uh, 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 but Vision, WandaVision, there it is. He is a, he is a sentient weapon. For, yes. For lack of a better term. Which yes. swore, s sword, <laughs> sword's all about. Mm -hmm. They need to always have controls and fans and things. So yes, Vision Quest comes after that. Are we sure that's the name of the show, Vision Quest? That's, that's what, they what told it's us. supposed to be. Okay, all right. <laughs> we know they like to change the name of shows. Though. That's true. Would that's you want to rename the show? I would name it White Vision, uh, <laughs> White on White. <laughs> okay, fair, fair. White fair. Vision, White on White. You all know right. what? Tyler Perry's gonna pick that up tonight. <laughs> Starring <laughs> Kelly Rowland. Yeah, right, right, right. <laughs> That's gonna be the sequel. Hey! I, I saw that trailer this morning. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait. Mess. We gotta... <laughs> we'll talk about it later. I see one bad wig so far. So, all right, let's go. Okay, so after Vision Quest, I'm gonna say we get Shang-Chi okay. Okay. after Vision Quest, all right? Now we got these last two. I think the people need Thunderbolts first. Okay. Yo, know, hopefully Harrison Ford hangs on for a little while <laughs> to be able to be I mean, Thunderbolt Ross. They can shoot it now Look, and then true. just. <laughs> sure. That was a, been, gr a good inquiry. Yeah, 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 we think about Harrison. It's been a long time since uh, Captain America Brave New World. So. He's directing movies in his 90s, Harrison directing. Ford. Directing. He showed up at the end of Killers of Flower Moon. He did. Spoiler alert. He acted. Yeah, but he's not like running. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be all CG. Body, yes, yes, yeah, his body doubles. <laughs> 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 the top half. He's going to be another guy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And now, the little Marvel movie that hopefully oh, could. Go. That here hopefully could. Blade, Blade to wrap us out. Beautiful. Mm. That's my arrangement. And, okay, so now we gotta do our, What's our your secret, movie? secret movie. That's, is this the right one? Yes, this is the right one. Okay, do I put it in there? Yeah, let's put it in here. Okay, my, my chicken scratch. You lift it. it. Okay. okay, here we go. Oh, okay, I like this. All right, there you go. and this will go I guess after Blade. Okay, tell them I'm, what it is. I'm pitching, we do Krakoa the movie. Mm -hmm. We make a Krakoa movie. Now that the X-Men have been brought into the MCU, we got Blade in there, everybody's in there. Krakoa the movie. You think, so the X-Men show up at some point before all this. Oh yeah. And then Krakoa. Definitely in one of the Avengers movies. Okay, they're showing the up in the one. Avengers, yeah, yeah. but Krakoa the movie is like the first like, this is a mutant movie right here. Yes, okay. so I mean, about the mutant uh, uh, refuge that is Krakoa the island, Krakoa Island, where mutants live free. Right, from they can be human... reborn, respond. Uh huh. Perfect. No rules in Krakoa the no, movie. Well, there's no rules in Krakoa. Mm -hmm. You can do whatever you want in Krakoa. What mm -hmm. do you think of this schedule, Jessica? You loved it. You were the first on board for this. Don't schedule. be mean just because you want people <laughs> to vote for yours. Um, wait, that would be the. Wouldn't I want? I get more 
uh, bees with honey than vinegar. So I send that bee after you if you don't like it. But I love honeys. Um, yeah, uh, I'm trying to. It's so there's so many, and I was quiet a lot of the time because I was trying to fixate on each of these. Because it's also like if they are coming out with series throughout the year, and we're dropping in 2026 four movies. One of those movies are going to be forgotten about. Mm. Uh, He's got, he's got three movies right now. The blue are TV shows. Oh, they're color coded. Mm. Yeah, yeah. What's the black? The black is we ran out of other colors. <laughs> uh, well, the black is like, we don't really know. Shang-Chi Because Deadpool is black. They said, I know, again, we ran out of colors. Then don't try to justify it. Okay. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> you could just skip to Well, you said it was color coded. Okay, so you said blue is TV shows? Yeah, blue okay. are TV shows. Then. Oh, okay. Then that makes more. Okay, now I'm less confused. I mean, that. I'm worried about this back-to-back -back Avengers thing. It's a bold, it's a bold move. I'm a bold man. It's a bold move from a bold man. And I feel like, wasn't it back in the day? I mean, didn't they originally have Infinity War and Endgame coming out like six months apart and then they bumped it up mm -hmm. to a year? I think yeah. you were right about like there wasn't anything in between them and then they did sandwich something in there. Back in the day, yeah. At some point. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to think of another movie that's done like back to back like that before. In the MCU or just a general? Or like any like franchise that's done like two big movies back to back. Like mm -hmm. in the same year? Yeah, yeah. Rebel well, Moon's kind of close. Rebel but... Moon's kind of mm. close. Didn't like The Hobbit or something do something like that? I don't know. Oh, like a Lord of the Rings. I think it was still one year apart. Yeah, maybe check. a full year. I don't know. I they filmed them all together. Spy but I don't Kids know. might have done it. Spy um, Kids. And I'm joking about that. <laughs> but right. I, it, but it would have worked. It well, would have worked. Two different years. I'll give yeah, you. No, yeah, that's yeah, true. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't yeah. think it's a two problem, especially because like after I think there's a lot to approach in Secret Wars, and I think there's a lot that won't be approached in Secret Wars. Right. Mm. There's only so many people they can force on Battle World, so I think they're gonna, especially with villains too. I don't think I actually have like quarrels with it. No, no. Now that you know that some of these are TV shows. Yes. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. I don't know Maybe. about moving Thunderbolts so far away, but I kind of like it. In your vision of the Thunderbolts, are they good, bad? They are anti-heroes. Anti-heroes. They are okay, okay. the MCU's Suicide Squad. Okay, so they're still good guys. They're still good guys. Yes. Okay, okay. With with questionable uh, means to justify their ends. Sure, sure, yes, sure. Yes, yes, yes. Most, like most anti-heroes. Evan, what do you got? Um, Eric, I'm not sure if I missed this or not, but do you you have the Fantastic Four after the Avengers films? Yes. Do you so you think that it, it would be too much to include the Fantastic Four before those films or? Yes. Do they show it all, up at all in like Secret Wars or anything? I think they just show up and then they get their own outing in their Fantastic okay. Four. Kind of like the mutants showing up, everyone's showing up mm -hmm. and just to introduce them. And then like at the end of Secret War, they're like, the Fantastic Four will return. Yeah. Okay. It's just like, but it's a better version of how DC introduced mm, Aquaman yeah. and Flash in uh, Batman v Superman. Yeah, in that oh, little yeah. uh, uh, video uh, unlocking <laughs> that that DLC. <laughs> that's a funny. Oh, we we all remember the DC. I mean, it's such fun times. R.I.P. R.I.P. Mm -hmm. R.I.P. Uh, well, beautiful, great great job. All right. We've got a ton more to talk about in this episode, but before we do, here's a special message from producer Evan to talk about one of our sponsors today. Thanks, guys. All right, so we know you love nerding out about TV and film with us, so we think you'll geek out over Avatar Braving the Elements, Nickelodeon's official companion podcast to Avatar The Last Airbender. Each week, hosts Janet Varney, the voice of Korra, and Dante Bosco, the voice of Zuko, rewatch every episode of The Last Airbender. They're joined by special guests like the cast, super fans, and even the creators of Avatar, Michael DiMartino and Brian Konitsko, for a deep dive and behind the scenes look into the Avatar verse that you can't get anywhere else. When I first started working on The Break Room, one of the first things John and I bonded over over was our love for Avatar. We both grew up loving the show, and I can't wait to listen to this podcast more and relive the seasons. So whether you're a longtime fan or new to the series, jump into the epic world of Avatar with Avatar Brave the Elements. Listen wherever you get your podcasts. Back to you guys. We also want to thank our friends over at Jelly Bean Planet, the best planet in the solar system. They've got so many different containers that house their jelly beans. We've got these like triangular boxes here, uh, and they also got this very fun Papa bean, Papa bean, not, not, fa not as in a father, but P-O-P, -P, oh. Papa bean. You have this that has a mix of flavors in here and it has this fun little top and you pull up and you press it down and boom, surprise jelly bean. You don't know what you're gonna get. Uh, oh, th this I'm is the one it. you like, Jessica. Oh, cool. yes, baby. <laughs> yes, uh, uh, so if you wanna pick your own, you can go through the box or, or they have these lovely like uh, clear cylinders or you can get this fun like Papa bean thing. It's a lot of fun, mm -hmm. play around with it. Uh, and they've got like big, big jars. You've seen us eating from uh, these last couple of weeks. There are so many jelly beans in this office. Mm -hmm. It is not 
good for my diet. Please send me home <laughs> with at least one bag. That's, this is great. Well, my kidney turned into a kidney jelly bean. Look at that. <laughs> delicious, delicious. I love that for you. We love eating the jelly beans. They have natural flavors, plant-based colors, no GMO, no gelatine, no gluten, no palm oil. These are really good. I mean, they really taste really, really good. Mm -hmm. To support our show and get some jelly beans of your own from Jelly Bean Planet, just click the link in the description below, or you can find them on Amazon. So easy to get them. All right, uh, Jessica, you're up next. Your schedule shuffle. Run us through your your shuffled schedule. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, and I won't judge schedule. you at all. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. You do. <laughs> <laughs> I would love it. Also, this wide camera, not the angle that you guys are seeing right now, but the other wide. You thought you would get my toesies in it, but you don't. <laughs> I'm wearing socks. Well, they gotta, hey, they gotta pay for this yeah. Got hot and toesy woesies. I got my toes today. I also did not do yoga this morning, so I can't stretch. Okay. But <laughs> so we're going through these. And Eric isn't too off, but I'm probably gonna ask you guys a lot of questions about okay. what's actually happening because we know Agatha, they said 2025, right? Or do they not give a shit? They said Agatha will come out this year, 2024. They said it's coming out this year. Uh, yeah. They put out that trailer a little while ago. I know, ago. but mm -hmm. I'm like. <laughs> we think like October. <laughs> sure. Patty, Patty LaPone okay. made it seem like it'd be October. Mm -hmm. But you can move it to 2025 it. if you want. I'll leave it. No, because I'm gonna try okay. working off of what they're doing and what I think they okay. should do with what they're currently doing. Okay. Mm. Deadpool is also already coming out. Boom, bada bing. Um, I, I don't think we're gonna get this, unfortunately, until 2027. Okay. I, I, I okay. don't like it either, I don't like it either, but think about <clears throat> how long it took us to get to Infinity War and Endgame. Yeah, yeah. It takes a little bit. It takes a couple, it takes like, well, the, the phases, the amount of phases and movies that we had phases? to go through. Okay. Yeah. Phases of the moon. How many we had to go through? <laughs> 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 We um, go through them every month. It's we, true. Uh, this I go through my phases once a month. So <laughs> we have this. We have Captain America: Brave New World. I'm going to leave this here for now. Okay. Is this just the next Avengers project? Yeah, that's that's. It was Kang Dynasty, but now it's just Avengers Five. Yes. That'll happen before Secret Wars somewhere. And Secret Wars is Avengers Six. Yeah. I'm going to leave it in 2025. <laughs> oh, um, early 2025. Mm -hmm. okay. I'm going to leave it in 2025. I'm going to take Daredevil. To 2026, okay. Okay. getting them ready for Secret Wars, because why wouldn't you put that person in Secret Wars? I think that if we do get a Spider-Man, yeah, it'll be Spider-Man. I think we should either, I think the next Spider-Man project will either be in like, will it be time jumping? It wouldn't be the time that we're currently supposed to be in in the MCU. Oh. I think it'll be like a side note, because we're getting so big with Spider-Man in the last movie that we're gonna have to get grounded. And I think that groundedness is gonna bring us to New York, which currently no one knows he's, Spider-Man, right, right. but also we are introducing the Defenders. So it's gonna be a more grounded Spider-Man, a more friendly neighborhood Spider-Man than the big bombastic Spider-Man we saw that ruptured a hole in the earth, or ruptured a hole in the sky the with all his that. villains coming. So I think that would come after uh, Secret Wars, but also oh, okay. they have the animated series, so give it time to breathe. Give it time to frickin' breathe. Okay. That way Sony can also figure out what they wanna do with us. I think this is definitely coming 2026. Uh, Wonder Man, I think, is gonna come after Secret Wars. I think we have too many people in Secret Wars already to include another uh, Wonder person, because uh, we still have the Eternals. Oh, so yeah. I'm like, I just don't see us getting Wonder Man in Secret Wars. I think the big defying thing is Secret Wars. Armor Wars, I do, <laughs> Armor Wars just needs to come. Mm -hmm. Armor Wars just yeah. needs to come. Armor Wars needs to come, and if we have Brave New World kinda getting us into the grounded like political schemes, then that would make sense, and I think that's where Ironheart would also come into play. Mm. And I will give Ironheart 2026, since they're already basically into that. And black on black. And black on black. Don Cheadle and uh, Dominique, uh, uh, can't remember Ironheart's last name. Dominique Thorne. Thorne. Yeah. I also said Dominic Jackson. See, this is why he honorary black today. Truly. <laughs> um, <laughs> Thank you. Shang-Chi 2, the director from Shang-Chi got pulled off of Secret Wars, correct? Yeah, Dustin Daniel Cretton, no longer directing Secret Wars. Mm -hmm. He is producing Wonder Man, maybe directing an episode, I don't know. I think we should get another Shang-Chi uh, Shang Shang thing. I don't think it's gonna be as big as a movie right now. I think it's gonna be another cameo appearance. And that's also how I feel about Vision Quest. White Vision, no! I'm doing, you're canceling it? I'm canceling it because the reason I think, Vision Quest, what has Marvel just learned? You can't just throw someone into sure, a, their sure. own series, their own movie. You have to slowly put in the pieces to sew it in so it's not just completely new to us. What about like a, we've a, only a seen Marvel him. spotlight with Vision? That's fine. Mm. And he's like in a bar and they're like, you want a cigarette? And he's like, what is a cigarette? <laughs> Do we think, I don't think that's entertaining. <laughs> I don't think we could get, like, because we already, in. well, I yes, we're tuned in, but I don't think the fans <laughs> watch a uh, white vision in a bar after he did the ship of Theseus thing in WandaVision. Thank you. Um, but 
I would love to see him as a cameo appearance in other things. I think WandaVision didn't set him enough enough uh, set him up enough to get his own movie. Yeah. Uh, okay, sorry. Thunderbolts. Ooh, um, okay. Blade. My baby, I'm gonna put it at the top. <laughs> Shang Chi, and I'm only putting Shang Chi here because it's on the board. I don't think we're gonna get it anytime soon. Uh, Wonder Man, Spider Man, Shang Chi. I think short year. Short year. We're pushing to do a bunch of stuff right now and right. not a lot of content's out. So I think putting these out as soon as possible is great. Um, a fourth year with all four of these would be a lot, but if Ironheart is a short series, it can all drop. They can do it as, they could even make it a, mo a Marvel Spotlight. Right. They can drop it as a Marvel Spotlight very quick. Daredevil Born Again will be the like, the, the thing. Mm. And then we got Thunderbolts and Secret Wars, because Secret Wars is going to be a huge fucking thing. You want Thunderbolts after Secret Wars. I think I, well, the thing is, okay, so this is what I'm in my mind. Even if it came out... Thunderbolts first, then Secret Wars, I don't think it would be that many people going from this into this movie. Right. Mm. I think it might be like Bucky, and that would be it. Everyone um, else dies on Thunderbolts? No, I don't no. think they're going to die. Well, actually, I guess Battle World. If we all take pieces of the world to create Battle World and Secret Wars, yeah, I guess everyone else dies. Sure. But I just don't think they're going to appear in the movie if we're also bringing in every other villain and other thing. There's just going to okay. be too chaotic of, of people. It would be so much to do. Too many people, because at least in like... End game, they were all one giant team under one person. Mm. Battle World, you're under different factions, different mm. people. So you've got four movies in between your two Avengers movies, right? Four movies? You've got Captain America, Fantastic Four, Armor Wars, and Thunderbolts Armor happening Wars? in oh, between right. yeah. the two Avengers movies. If this came out in like January and this also came out in January, uh -huh. 20, or not January, I guess December, <laughs> we have a lot of time. But you want a lot of time in between those movies. You want a lot to happen in between these two Avengers movies. Yeah, but I don't think one will uh, negate the others, if that makes sense. Like, I don't think Ironheart has anything to do with those. Oh, okay. Ironheart is going to be her own Marvel spotlight. She's living on uh, her own. Daredevil is also in his own little faction. Oh, so sorry, what? I also ran a poll in the chat, and 79% uh, of the chat does not think we will get Vision Quest, realistically. Thank you. <laughs> oh. I just, realistically, just right now. It, it, once we have like all the money and he's happy with us, Mr. Disney, yeah, yeah, then yeah. we'll do it. <laughs> um, but I do think in 2025, I don't know if it would come in 2025. If it does, great. If it doesn't, mm -hmm. I don't think this would. I would want, I want <clears throat> Moon this Girl. This is your special show? This is my special show. I want Moon this Girl. This is animated? Uh, yes, but I want Moon Girl and the Devil Dinosaur. Okay, all right. I want Moon Girl and the Devil Dinosaur, and the reason I want Moon Girl and the Devil Dinosaur is because we're trying to lift these people up and give them bigger shows. When you threw Echo into Marvel Spotlight, it was kind of hard because she didn't really have anything but Hawkeye. We have Moon Girl, Devil Dinosaur lifting with Ironheart that will lift him into the Thunderbolts. And I think if we just have these grounded people that are very smart and great with weaponry, they can build things together. So get our black women in STEM together to lift each other up in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Black History Month. Do you and want Black Girl Magic? You Coretta don't Scott. Want a, you don't want a live action Moon Star, Girl. Star Moon Girl. Coretta Scott. <laughs> you don't want a live action Moon Girl. I would love a live action Moon okay. Girl. But I think since we're also getting, I know that you said not to do this, but since we're getting uh, Spider-Man freshman year, and since we're getting Eyes of Wakanda and X-Men '97, throw her also in there. Remind people that she is a Marvel okay. property, like Big Hero 6. Like, like go it. ahead. I say do a live action. Yeah. I would love to do a live action. A dinosaur. I would love to do a live action. And then I would love to still, I want her connected to Ironheart. That okay. is, I want them to both help each other. Okay. Whether she's interning for Ironheart or Ironheart is just helping her. I want that. You've done a good job spreading out your movies, two movies a year. Yeah. It's a very healthy, healthy pattern. Yeah. I like that. You're going to have to pick up Vision Quest. <laughs> uh, I will pick up, I will lift Vision Quest up. He will I'm sorry, I realize mine's really I will raise really long. him up. Yeah. Mine's long because I'm always talking it out out loud in my brain while I'm doing it. Beautiful, beautiful. Before we get to the rest of the episode today, we want to shout out another one of our great sponsors, Blue Chew. Things change as you age, and if you want to turn back the clock to a more energetic time of your life, BlueChew.com can help. Blue Chew is a unique online service that delivers the same active ingredients as Viagra, Cialis, and Levitra, but in chewable tablets and at a fraction of the cost. Just sign up at BlueChew.com, consult with one of their licensed medical providers, and once you're approved, you'll receive your prescription within days. It's super easy. It's all done online. That means no visits to the doctor's office, no awkward conversations, and no waiting in line at the pharmacy. If you're skeptical and don't think you need it, try it free for a month and find out for yourself. Blue Chew wants to help you have better sex. Discover your options at bluechew.com. Chew it and do it. 
And we've got a special deal for our listeners. Try Blue Chew free when you use our promo code BREAKROOM at checkout. Just pay $5 shipping. That's bluechew.com, promo code BREAKROOM to receive your first month free. Visit bluechew.com for more details and important safety information. And we thank Blue Chew for sponsoring the podcast today. You may have heard us talk about our live show. And guess what, folks? We're doing another one. Come to Brain Dead Studios in Los Angeles on February 15th, the day after Valentine's Day. Tickets are on sale now. Jessica Voss and... Jessica Voss, oh God. Don't tell them, <laughs> don't tell no them. He the told truth. me not to tell anyone. Delete that, delete that. <laughs> oh God, he's gonna kill me. <laughs> Eric Voss and Jessica Clemens will be there. Maybe some other friends in the new rock stars network. Am I not allowed to go? I don't know. Check out the description uh, to buy your tickets now. All right, are you ready to see my great schedule we that I put are. together? Mm-hmm. Oh, I I'm gotta, so, so, so curious. I should have set up my thing first. <laughs> okay, 2024, we're sticking with our schedule. You're gonna get Deadpool, you're gonna get Agatha. That's it, cut it off. Now we jump into 2025. We kick things off with Captain America Brave New World. We Ooh. need to know what Sam Wilson's up to. We need to know, we need to really level set what the world looks like right now. We're gonna find out who the foes are, who the heroes are, who could even be an Avenger at this point. Sam's gonna call people up and they're gonna be like, ah, I'm busy, I don't know, I don't know. It's gonna be a rough go for him. We're gonna get the leader back. We're gonna get Red Hulk introduced. Gonna be tons of fun stuff. Then right after this, boom, Ironheart, okay? Black on black. Ironheart. I hope, I pray, I pray for the day that this happens. This is where like the magic and the science fights, like we get the kind of, you know, like, they're trying to get the world working again, you know? The blip was a long time ago. Stop talking about it. Stop crying about it, you crybabies. Uh, but things are gonna get crazy because Mephisto's here. The world's getting weird. The, the incursion is starting to happen. Like, the world's starting to get real weird. Like stuff is going off, 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 off the rails. Then we get, boom, Thunderbolts, okay? This all ties together. And again, I'm pulling my card. This gets renamed Thunderbolts versus Young Avengers. Mm. This is where like, Sam Wilson can't get a team of Avengers together to do anything. So like, uh, Miss, uh, Miss Marvel and like Kate Bishop, they get people together to deal with the Thunderbolts. Thunderbolts start off good in the movie, but then like Val has them doing really bad stuff. Uh, and the Young Avengers are gonna try and stop them. That's what's gonna happen there. I hear your pitch. I just don't think that children will want to go against the FBI. They're not children, they're like in their 20s by now. They're fine. <laughs> Isn't they're she fine. in high school? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. She's, she's gonna drop out. Hmm? It's fine. <laughs> it's a full-time she's gonna, hero. She's gonna drop now what? Out. It's, it's totally but- fine. Uh, then we get Daredevil. She's gonna drop out. Mm-hmm. Don't yeah. say that. Then we get Daredevil born again. Hell yeah, this man. is to really see how the effects of like the Thunderbolts and what they're doing, these incursions are starting. New York's falling apart, right? Fisk is running for mayor. He's cleaning things up, mm-hmm. but it's, you know, no more vigilantes. This is bad. Everything's bad. And we can see on both a, like a worldwide level with these kind of properties and on street level, how rough things are getting. Like the world's falling apart and some people are like, you know what, let this incursion happen because uh, things, are, things are getting real bad. They're getting so bad that we're dealing with like really dark things and that's where Blade comes in, okay? Ooh. This magic that Miss Fisto's unlocked, right, is letting in, you know, like all the monsters, including vampires, but like maybe Moon Knight gets involved a little bit here. This is Blade's movie, mm. but maybe like we get a cameo from Moon Knight, maybe Dane Whitman, I don't know. Poor Dane Whitman. Apologies to Dane Whitman. Uh, but like, you got incursions, you got criminals, uh, corporate malfeasance, and now you've got vampires. Malfeasance? I mean? Yeah, malfeasance <laughs> everywhere. Damn. It's, it's bad. It's bad out there. The villains now, are villaining. This is like mm-hmm. a this is a dark dark run. Starting with Thunderbolts, this is all very dark. This is where Wonder Man comes in. Okay. Because the world is so crappy, people are turning to entertainment. That's for someone like Wonder Man. We need Josh Gad. Yeah. That's the kind of In times like these. We never need Josh Gad. <laughs> Josh Gad's in it. We never need Josh. We don't He's need, in it. We don't, we don't need Josh Gad. <laughs> Double check for me. I think Variety was like, yeah, he got casted. He's, he's the star doing, of he's it. He's busy doing Gutenberg on Broadway. He doesn't have time for this. Oh, I wanted to see it. Oh, he's in it. Okay, here we go. <laughs> uh, so that's Wonder, Wonder Man's lighthearted. It's fun. But like, he's, you know, he's like a hero for Hollywood. Like, it's not real. It's not helping people. Things are still getting bad. Uh, and then that leads us into our first Avengers movie. Mm. Uh, I don't know what it's gonna be called yet, okay? But this is when like the incursion really start to happen. And from the result of this movie, we begin to build battle world. Like a whole continent gets replaced from like a planet of an, from another universe, right? The, it's like they're colliding and like, it, it's a mess. The world's really falling apart here. So much so that boom, the Avengers sh- or the Fantastic Four show up in this movie and then they get their own movie after it, okay? So incursions beginning here, Battle World is forming, Negative Zone opens up, 
these boys walk through from another another universe, okay? This is where we get our Fantastic Four from another mm. universe, all right? And that will lead us right into Armor Wars. This is gonna be a big year. Yeah. 2026, big year, okay? Leads us right into Armor Wars because the technology that they're bringing in combined with leftover Stark tech, combined with Hammer who's out of prison, right? The battle world is forming. That's where the Armor Wars really kicks in, okay? Every little... Uh, country or whatever it is now, a faction is forming itself and they need the best weapons they got. Boom, we got Armor Wars. This takes us into 2027 when we finally get our Spider-Man movie, okay? Mm. World's a mess, but New York's really a mess. Uh, Fisk has, has won, he's taken over. He's taking over the city, Daredevil's dead. Sorry, that's how that, that show ends, Daredevil's <laughs> dead. So All it's right. up to Spider-Man now. There's a new Daredevil. It's Bullseye, he's reformed. He's oh, a good guy you're now. You're pointing at me because you know best. I love that crazy He's doing lunatic. his best. Echo, maybe Echo takes over as Daredevil. Well, she can stay Echo, but like someone replaces Daredevil in the city because he's dead. He died. But he's in born Florida. again. Yeah, and then he died again. Well, Boom. do you think he's not going to be resurrected? Uh, well, we'll worry about that <laughs> in 2029. Okay. Who's the angel in this series? Uh, I don't know yet. So Spider-Man Four, <laughs> and then we get Boom, Secret Wars. Okay, that takes us right in there. Mm. Uh, that's what that's all about. And Spider-Man's there. The Fantastic Four are there. Mutants show up somewhere around in here. We're getting mutants in these things, but no standalone mutant movie. Boom, 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 Secret Wars. Uh, Secret Wars like settles it, it all, it all quiets down. Uh, this kind of resets everything. What? You just have to put them in here. Oh yeah, uh, <laughs> once this all settles down, then we get uh, Shang-Chi 2. Where am I? This is just 2027, this is just these two things. Boom, Shang-Chi 2 comes in 2028. Shang-Chi's involved, don't worry, he's involved in all this, but then we get a standalone movie in 2028, then boom, Vision Quest. How fun, isn't that cute? Vision Quest wraps this up. Uh, well, we're not wrapped up it's yet. It's not wrapped okay. up, he just doesn't have oh, anywhere to put him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is where Vision Quest comes in. Sure. He's not, he maybe shows up in like Armor Wars, like what is this, why are we fighting? You know mm. what I mean? But then he finally gets his, his shit together. <laughs> it's gonna be so funny to watch him as the most useless person on like Battle World being like, well, I don't wanna fight. I would rather just float in the air and they're gonna be like, Vision, do something. Vision, pick a side. He's like, why must why there be sides? <laughs> the world is a sphere. It has oh my sides. God, he is. He's going to not pick a side. Yeah, yeah. And he's yeah. just going to keep floating around and that's how we're going to do the What is here. a cigarette? <laughs> Can I smoke a cigarette, mama? Uh, <laughs> Love is just grief persevering. That's all he's going to say the whole movie. <laughs> and then once they, uh, you know, Secret Wars have fixed the world. Everything's fine. Incursion's over. Oh, we're happy. Everyone's back. Shang-Chi's dealing with monsters from another dimension. Who knows? Vision's, he's so cute. Oh, he's back. Then. There's a rumble. A red mist leaks out of the earth. And we get our next movie. This is the project I'm adding to the slate. Boom. Scarlet Witch, Rise of the Mutants. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> Scarlet Witch doesn't show up in any of this. Everyone's like, where's the Scarlet Witch? She's dead. She died in Wonder Gore, blah, blah, blah. No, she doesn't show up anywhere. She shows up in 2028 in her own movie, bringing the mutants fully into the MCU. Mm. Uh, and she's like a Magneto figure, leading the mutants. So you know we I mean? were trying to think angry. outside the box. <laughs> he was thinking in the box. What do you mean? We're all in the box, <laughs> folks. That's my slate. Boom. I like there it. So Scarlet Witch, instead of a House of M, no more mutants, she yeah. pulls a MCU, all the mutants. Yes, yes. She, the mutants start showing up, but they, they definitely come from another universe. They weren't hiding in here. Mm. Kamala can be a, a mutant, that's like totally fine. Namor can be a mutant, that's totally fine. But for whatever reason, like we didn't get a mass expanse of mutants in our world, but they start coming in uh, and she brings the rest of them in mm. because their, their universe was destroyed uh, in an incursion. Mm. That's how I've laid it out there for you folks. All right. That's my schedule. All right. mm. oh, wasn't that great? Very good, Brandon. Very wasn't good. that Very great? Good. I just, uh, I was just playing Erica Wusu's game, you know? Nice. Well, you, well, you had notes. You look like you hate it, Jessica. No. <laughs> I don't. I'm afraid of that fly coming back out of that water. It's in the it's water. It's dead. dead. What, it's, it's not dead. dead. You guys won't let me shove my finger to make sure it's not breathing. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to make sure. Um, no, it's a good list. You like what it? do you want? You want a cookie? You want a jelly bean? I, I want a cookie. Want a do you have cookies? No, your list wasn't good. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. Oh, my honey. You're right. My list wasn't no, good. It was good. excellent. It was, you know what? It was perfect. You know what a common thing is, though? from all of our lists. We got a lot of movies in between these two Avengers movies. Mm. I've got three. You had four. <laughs> I mean, you had four. Why do, sure. why do we want so many movies in between these Avengers movies? Because it's, it's too big. Like the movies are too big? Yeah. You got, you got a, your, Avengers Secret War 
Infinity, Infinity War, Endgame, these are the massivest, yeah. biggest movies. You can't just put like, oh, you know what? Right after Secret Wars, I'm gonna just put Thunderbolts right here. <laughs> like, right, right, or, right. Well, I think I did that, but I'm like, you can't put like Daredevil right after. It's like, no, get all your stuff out right now mm. because for two years, we're gonna be focused on these two movies for a minute. Yeah, yeah. I like, yeah, because Infinity War has a ton of characters, obviously. Endgame has a ton, but at the very end, right? They're yeah. very smartly, it's mostly just like the five, or mm -hmm. the five that survived or whatever, mm -hmm. and then Ant-Man's there also. <laughs> Doing and then Ant-Man's there. And yeah. like, uh, uh, Hey, he saved Nebula. us. He <laughs> technically saved hey, us all. the rat saved us all. That's Damn. who saved us all. Damn. It's true. It's Sometimes true. people call Scott Lang the rat. So, mm -hmm. huh. um, cause he's a rat. Did he flip uh, on the plug? What happened? What? What? No, just because he's like a rat person. <laughs> he's oh, okay. a rat person? He's a rat person. He's not a rat person. He's an ant man. man. Okay, you guys, yes. I get it. I get it. All right, those are our schedule shuffles. Don't forget to vote. Uh, you can click on the link in the description. Uh, that's it for us today here on The Break Room. Make sure to subscribe to The Break Room channel on YouTube and give us a follow on Twitch where we do these videos live. Uh, Eric Wusu, where, where can they find you on social media? Hey, hey, internet. You guys can find me on Instagram, uh, eric.ky.owusu. There it is down there. And also on the Twitter and only, also on Only Toes. You can see these toesy woesies, oh, pay rent and whatnot. Only, only toes. toes. Is that a real thing? Google it. Oh, <laughs> well, I thought you were serious. I was like, oh, okay. I'll, I'll donate. I'll Jessica, donate where can they toes. find you online? On uh, poopoopeepee.com. Oh, come on, be an adult. Poopoopeepee.org.net. Uh, no, it's Jessica. <laughs> Lulu, Lulu Clements? <laughs> Type in Jessica Alba, you'll find me. <laughs> you'll find her somewhere. The uh, Dark Angel, the original. The, the Dark Angel. The Dark Angel. And make sure, That's to, a good name. Make sure to follow at Break Room and R on all social channels, including Threads. We're taking over Threads. Thank goodness. Evan is thriving <laughs> on Threads. I'm hearing great things. I'm hearing threading. great things about it. Yeah. Uh, you'll be threading. We'll catch you next time. <laughs> Latest Gators. Goodbye. Bye, Internet. Bye.